Hi Capricorns, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have another cool reading. We do, Capricorn. And we hope you guys are well. And let's see, we're putting these cards out uh, spontaneously today. Yeah, for Capricorn. So we have the vine. Seek out information that will help you. Okay, so is this about research or maybe uh, you need to kind of ask somebody or I don't know about somebody or something, right? Let's see what else we have. And this is, we have lighthearted, carefree time, the jug. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we have. I feel like you're going to have a revelation here, something like that. Or, And let's get this card, wanted to be here. Career, all right. So you might be finding out about your career. You guys are all about your career. The 10th house of authority and ambition. Yeah, and this uh, vine card. Yeah, let's see what else we have here. Yeah, you probably have some information you could find out that will possibly help you with your career. And we have the dark man, okay? And this doesn't have to be uh, resonating because not everybody, you know, has a dark-skinned boyfriend, right? Or a dark, you know, or, or is dark-skinned or anything like that. We're going to cover that. We're going to take it out because uh, these are general readings. So that's a little specific. Chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. So there's an ending here. And Capricorn, maybe this is the information. Maybe kind of, you know, maybe somebody's uh, leaving your life or leaving somebody else's life and that information will help you. Yeah, it could be. And hold on one second. You guys are going to close. Open this window. It's hot. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. It's kind of... It's kind of earthquake weather here a little bit. It's I shouldn't say that, right? It's not a good, not a good one, right? Uh, Uranus too, uh, you know, is in conjunction right now with a uh, Jupiter, right? And so you know, Uranus can be about earthquakes, right? And we're in Taurus, and this is about earthly things. <laughs> Omg, right? Yeah, we hope not, right? Yeah, we do. And let's see what else we have, uh, Capricorn. And where are those other cards I wanted to use? And here they are. So we're using, we're using this little kind of drama cards today and the astrology cards as well. Let's see what we have for Capricorn here. Yeah, these are drama cards, but you know, they're kind of fun. Let's see what we got for Capricorn, please. And we have abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Uh, exactly. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. You're going to find out about something here, Capricorn. Uh, and it's, it's somebody wants abundance with you, or it could also be career where you find out something, uh, about your career. And, uh, you know, this could be two separate things though. Someone's leaving your life. Maybe it's, you know, I don't know, it could be a boss and you just kind of have a new, a new career going for yourself or it's a business partner. And, you know, it's, we're not sure yet. I like you. Okay. Very cool. Right. And this is somebody likes you, romance is blooming, and somebody wants a date and flirting, fun flirting. We also have uh, lighthearted and carefree time. This is a confirmation here. And somebody wants to romance you. That's what's going on here. They may be telling you that somebody has left their life. Could be. Uh, because you're going to manifest this gratitude and this bliss that you want. So maybe you've already wanted this, Capricorn. Maybe you know all about this. And possibly it's career and love, right? Why can't it be both? We have the earth card, pragmatic, grounded, and enduring. This is going to be something that will last for you. Yeah, because it's stable. It's earth energy, uh, right? And we also have finances, values, value, and possessions. The second house. This is the second house of Taurus, right? Which is about uh, values and money. It can be about possessions, earthly possessions, right? Like houses, clothing, uh, jewelry, things like that. And so, you know, there's somebody's offering you something very earthly here and very abundant. Wow. So let's see what else we have, Capricorn. Let's get one more card here. And we have this card. Uh, this is Midheaven, Medium, uh, Coeli. And this Midheaven is the 10th house. It is. And so this is like uh, not everybody has, you know, Capricorn in their 10th house, but it is kind of based on that because this is how it is. Definitely. This is how you want to be seen in the world, right? Uh, which, you know, coincides with the 10th house of authority and ambition and career. If you don't work, it's kind of just maybe, maybe just how you want to be seen kind of your reputation and that's showing up here. So this is 10th house 
uh, you know, energy here and uh, mm -hmm, direction. And this can be career too, career too. But this is about you moving in that direction. It is Capricorn. And this is your card, basically. So this is really interesting here. Uh, you might learn about somebody's kind of reputation here. I mean, I don't mean in a bad way. You might learn something maybe about them too, possibly. So let's see what else we have, Capricorn. And today we use these cards and we have the six of wands. And this is definitely a victory. And we see that because he's handing him the wreath of glory and all these people are watching. And remember, sixes are recognition. He's being recognized right here. The fool is the crossing energy, the high priestess, the five of cups. Wow. Nine of pentacles, three of wands. So let's see what else we have here. There's change coming, uh, Capricorn. This is the eight of wands. Change can be coming because of the Scorpio full moon, for sure, right? This is regeneration, transformation, uh, for sure. I'll link that video down in the comments and uh, for my other channel. But, you know, this could be passion kind of too, very passionate. This is change and growth. And we see all the sprouts here. Mm-hmm. And what else do we have here? We have the two of swords, but the swords are out. Somebody labored over something in this reading over this decision. Uh, they could have, it doesn't have, it can also be like, well, I gave up. I put the swords down. I'm going with this because there is like a, there's kind of a surrender in this reading. The five of cups is an ending here. Yeah, there's a bit of a surrender. Someone's leaving your life. Okay. So the overall energy or the current is a victory or a recognition. And we see this happy man. Maybe you're being recognized at work. You could be Capricorn. Recognized with an award. You could be uh, recognized uh, with a talent. Possibly you could be. Uh, because of this kind of 10th house energy, this uh, medium Coeli, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. which is mid-heaven, right? Let's see what else we have here. Uh, and this is about your social life, right? Mm -hmm. Page of Cups is here. Someone's coming to tell you this. This person's coming to tell you that maybe you want to verify it, <laughs> whatever they tell you. Seek out information that will help you. What that means is that somebody's bringing you information. Like, listen, like at least listen to it, right? Don't just go, oh, that's not true. Oh, I don't believe you. And Page of Cups is here. They're coming to tell you they recognize you <clears throat> as their bliss. We have gratitude and bliss here, the abundance card. Yeah. And so the fool is the challenge. So the challenge is they're taking a leap of faith here. They're just going to be, you know, spontaneous and courageous, right? Yeah. And the, you know, when the fool sits here, it's like, gee, I might fall on my face. Capricorn, I might not, I might be taking this leap of faith, but Capricorn may, may not be available. might not want me, but just for some reason that I'm unaware of here, that's not, you know, being shown. <clears throat> right. Let's see what else we have here. And you know, the, the courage to do this could have been challenging, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys, especially with the two of swords here. Like I put the swords down and you know, I thought about this and it might have been hard for me to decide, but never mind. I'm putting, I'm surrendering. I'm putting the swords down and I'm going with this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe there was a stalemate in the past. Like, I don't know what to do. The full card is here. Ten of cups. Yeah, you're there happily ever after. We see that with the gratitude and the bliss card. You're supposed to keep a positive mindset. I feel like you help somebody do that, Capricorn. I'm pretty sure that this person, like, yeah, I also feel like this person values you because we have this Taurus and we have both and we have, uh, the second, the second house showing up, which both are Taurus, but it's about values. Yeah. Not just money. Right. 
no, not only money, anything that is valuable, right? It could be values, beliefs, but this person believes in you and they value you. And with the high priestess is here, five, seven of cups reversed. <clears throat> now we know the sevens are all about, uh, introspection and, you know, reassessing, right? And it, it's a pain, right? You get to the six and you recognize something, uh, maybe that you want a victory with somebody or, you know, uh, or that you want to overcome something or even on your own. And then when you get to the seven, you're like, well, I need to make this choice if I want it to happen. If I want change the eight, or if I want to step in my power, the eight. So this was already made and it was a hard choice. And there were options because here's the two of swords, most likely saying there were two options here, page of swords and the five of cups. Yeah. And the five of uh, swords wanted to come out one moment, you guys. I beg your pardon, you guys. Okay. Page of swords, five of cups, and there's four cups standing here. Uh, which is interesting to me, but the fours are, you know, there's a five, but the fours are about stability. So something ends here. So somebody can have something stable and it's with you or you want this with them because we have this card, uh, grounded and enduring. This is stable. The earth energy. Yeah. I feel like what's happening is that somebody's coming your way. And they have something to tell you, Page of Cups, that the overall energy, they recognize you as their big love. Ten of Cups, happily ever after. <clears throat> it's hard for them because they're going to take a, a chance on you. Now, the choice was made, and it was made intuitively, because here's the Seven of Cups reversed with the High Priestess. Or psychically, however, however you want. Right? And, uh, I mean, they're a little different, but, but they can be the same as well. And page of swords, five of cups here in the past, this person wondered if they ended something, if they let something go, someone is leaving your life for gratitude. Somebody likes you. Romance is blooming. I feel like this person is wondering if they let some type of a cycle go. They could have grieved you in the past though, Capricorn. That could be as well. That could be well here, but as well going on, but this person already made the choice. This was over here. Page of Swords was over here, but that's okay, right? And so we have uh, the Page of Swords and the Five of Cups. And this sits here. Uh, yeah, this person is, or you are, whoever's kind of doing all this in the reading, right? Is kind of wondering here. And they could be wondering if you have too much regret too. Yeah, they could, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. And they could be wondering, can I establish something uh, stable? For sure they are wondering that. Three of Wands reverse. He's letting the bird go. Yeah, he is. And he's reading something. So this is the mindset. Uh, there's a plan here. And the Ace of Swords is reversed. OMG. So the mindset here is an ending. Because the bird, this Three of Wands in the upright is about my ships coming in. And he's letting the bird go for a new beginning. Right? In the reverse... It's like an ending. It's almost like he's going to tell somebody um, so, something's ending. Something like that because he's reading something. It can be definitely a plan, right? Whenever we see, uh, right? Ace of Swords reversed is an ending. Mm -hmm. And this talks about your person here who has gained major clarity about what they want. They're just not sure whether or not they can pull it together. That's kind of how it looks. Nine of Pentacles here is a King of Pentacles reverse. That's you, Capricorn, or another Earth sign, right? Virgo or Taurus. But we've got a lot of Taurus energy here. I mean, there could be a Virgo. We're not sure. Or maybe all of them, you know. But this King of Pentacles reverse with this Nine of Pentacles, this is somebody who's single here who leaves somebody's life or somebody leaves their life and they're single now. I'm flirting. I want a date with this card. Mm -hmm. Gratitude and bliss. Somebody like becomes single or self-sufficient. 
I mean, that could mean something else, right? Maybe they moved out of their, their mother's house. I mean, possibly, you know, because whoever this is wants stability with you, right? You're not really going to get it if you're, I mean, in my opinion, but I mean, this person could be really making their life stable in order to be with you. That's kind of what I'm saying here. And the eight of wands with the two of pentacles, this is a wondering, we already have uh, the page of swords. This is a wondering if, if I can establish change and growth and something passionate and inspiring. And the two of wands is here. And in this deck here, which usually about partnerships, making a, 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 making a choice about where the direction in your life, we have this card direction with the, the mid heaven, the direction, because the mid heavens kind of faded is how, how you want to be seen in the world, right? Or your career or your reputation, you know, your authority in this world. So this here can be kind of about that as well, two of wands, because he's like, but this is like direction here. Uh, where do I want to go? And this man here, like, what am I choosing for my life? And that's what the mid heavens kind of like what you choose, because you want to be seen a particular way. You want to be seen as a psychic. You want to be seen as a, an HR manager or, you know, or an engineer or whatever it is, is, you know, or, or an actress whatever you're trying to do. And in the challenge, uh, not the challenge, I keep calling it that this is the environment, but this man knows that he's choosing a new direction. So, so uh, there could be a third party here that knows this. It is possible. And we have the eight of pentacles. I feel like this is this person most likely here, but we see the single card. Somebody really could be becoming single here. Like, Hey, I, I can't go I can't be with Capricorn unless I let somebody leave my life with this one card. And we have the four of swords and this is reversed. And the four of swords is, uh, he's praying, he's meditating. It's reversed here. So this is about a healing. Uh, but in the reverse here, I feel like this person has already decided here, Capricorn, they want to heal this with you. That's the four of swords is reversed next to the two of swords. I surrender. I want this healing. Uh, and this can also talk about, I don't, I don't have any other choice, but to let something end because he's dreaming about a new beginning, but it's reversed. Here are the butterflies flowing into the, uh, into the church. And remember this is, I need something stable because all the fours are about something foundational or stable. It's based on the fourth house of cancer, right? The fourth house of family and foundation and emotions get one more card. Let's get a card on that four of swords. And now we have, uh, here we have the six of cups and this could definitely be somebody from, from the, from the past Capricorn. It really could be whoever this is. You're really special because we have gratitude and bliss, right? Yeah. Gratitude brings you so much in this world. It does, right? For sure. It does. Uh, mm-hmm. And this is also a recognition that you're so special. It's a six. We have the four of swords reversed. This is meditation and like, like meditating and evaluating here, although it's a four because they're swords, it's next to the two of swords. This person thought about this, prayed about it, meditated on it. Yeah. They did. And the two of swords in the outcome shows the king of swords. Yeah. So the two of swords, she gave up the swords and here's the king. Okay. This is like, I surrender. I'm making this decision and I'm going with it. And we know this to be true because here is the fool reversed in the challenge. Like, well, I already made this choice and now, you know, I, I'm taking this leap of faith and gee, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to happen. Right. And that's how any leap of faith is. There's no life has mysteries. That's right. That's why we have uh, you know, we have Pisces and Scorpio as the, as the high priestess, because they are supposed to understand mysteries. Uh, they are right. The 12th house is about secrets and, uh, psychic energy as is the eighth house. Yeah. So really awesome Capricorn. It's beautiful. It is, I feel like this is exciting. If you are waiting for somebody or if you miss them, and you haven't seen them in a long time. Somebody could show up here for you. Yeah, they could. And they're coming with news, the page of cups. All right. 
So we're going to end this reading. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. I'm hooking, I'm not hooking, I am pinning the Scorpio full moon, which, you know, happened yesterday. Trust me, we're still in the energy. I'm pinning it at the top of the comments. Thank you so much, you guys. It is about transformation in all our lives. And the 12 signs and the horoscope is there in the reading. And thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And please support me on my other channel, you guys. Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. go check out uh, the readings. I feel like they're, yeah, they are more kind of, uh, they're less technical, right? If you saw the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction video, then you'll know that, right? And they're lots of, I feel like they're fun, right? I don't know, I'm Sagittarius, right? So uh, fun is important, right? Yeah, it is. Thanks so much, you guys.